So, Matt, um, following the result on Tuesday, how are, how are you and the boys feeling ahead of, well, ahead of what Tuesday was and, and I look forward to Saturday as well? Um, yeah, really disappointed. Um, uh, gutted, really. Um, I think when I signed here four years ago, I didn't ever think that we'd be in this this situation. It's difficult. Um, so, yeah, gutted, gutted for the, the town, gutted for the, the fans and, and the club, really. Yeah. And... How will you personally take these next two games? Mark Cooper was saying that the players take it as a bit of personal pride. Is that your view, or or how do you how do you look towards the end of the season now? Um, yeah, we have to look at it as personal pride. Um, whether we're relegated, um, we as players we want to win a game of football. Um, and me personally, I want to win. I want to beat whoever we're playing. Um, so I'll be looking. To try and win the game for the next two games, yeah. Yeah, and in terms of the upstairs noise as well, obviously all of the the who are surrounding the club a little bit at the moment. Um, does that affect you guys as players? Have you heard anything? Are there any sort of rumblings going on? Um, I think it has been for a while. Um, it's been going on for a very long time, and it is unsettling. Um, I think it's it's hard to to concentrate on just the football when there's so much noise going on the outside. So. Um, yeah, it's been it has been difficult a uh, few weeks and uh, months really. Um, so the sooner it gets sort of sorted, the better. Mm. But you've not heard anything as as to whether the deal will be finalised at all. No, I haven't. I haven't heard any anything okay. really now. And have you started to think at all about the future for you and whether you'll be playing either in a Yeovil shirt or for the National League South next season? Um, I haven't thought about it too much at the moment. I don't know what what will happen um, mm. come the end of the season. If I'm honest. Um, but no, all I can say is I've really enjoyed my time at Yeovil, um, and it's been probably the best few years I've I've had in, had in football. Um, so yeah, it's tough at the moment, um, but I'm not sure what what will happen. Okay, and in terms of you know you guys being uh, relegated now, do you think that the as I say the outside noise and almost that that fear behind your back has affected the most recent performances? Um, yeah, you, you can say that. Um, me personally, I think I try to sort of, of block that out because I can't really affect that. Um, only thing I can affect is on a Tuesday and Saturday. Um, so you've got to, you have to try and put that in the back of your head, behind you. Sorry. Yes. Um, some players might think, feel different. Some people it might be very unsettling for um, in terms of contract situations and what's going to happen for them in the next season or whatever. So players will react differently. Um, and like I said, I can only do what I can affect is, is on a Saturday and Tuesday. Yeah, uh, I've said this to, to Mark, so I'll say it to you. Your captain um, has, has been both brilliant with facing up to, to interviews on the pitch um, as, as well as off it as well. So just a word on, on Josh Thornton. Yeah, he's um, he's a brilliant guy, um, first and foremost, and a, and a very good player. And he is, he's a massive asset to this club. Um, I think he has took a lot on his shoulders this season um, and a very hard hard season it's been um, but yeah no he's he's been brilliant and he's he's um, a player you can really look up to in the changing room and for the players that have come in and the young lads that are coming through uh, you have to look at people like that and really look up to mm. thanks for your time Matt go well Cheers. Saturday thank you May um, I'll ask you the same question as I asked the gaffer really is Obviously, there's there's frustration, there's disappointment, but do you feel any anger to have been put in the situations you've been put in? Um, yeah, I do. Uh, there's a lot of emotions, to be honest. Um, anger is, is one of them. Um, like I said, joining here four years ago, I never thought we'd be in this situation, and this past season has probably been the most physically and mentally draining um, season there is. And yeah, I'm, I'm angry for for us obviously getting relegated um, and the, the town, the people and the club because it's, it's such a good club and whatever happens upstairs it needs to get sorted and whoever takes over needs to show the club some love because it's missed that for a long time now. I mean obviously you know, a relegation doesn't do your own CV any good does it? No, it's, n it's never good. Um, as a player it's, it's, it sticks with you um, unfortunately and, but that's part of football. Yeah. Um, and we, if you're going to get relegated, you have to deal with what what comes from that. So, yeah. Where do you see yourself in 
next season. I mean, have you got a, a, a have you got an ongoing contract or is your contract out? No, so my contract's up at the end of the season. Is it? Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what what will happen at the end of the season. I'm not sure. Um, I'm trying not to look too far to that. I'm trying to get these two games, try and get some some wins and and give back to the fans really because we haven't done enough this year to, for them to, to support us the way they have. Um, and yeah, it's, it's it is really tough because I don't know if I'll be here next year. I'm not I'm not sure. I don't know what will happen with sort of upstairs or anything like that. I don't know contract situations. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've I've loved every every minute. This season's been very tough, but um, the place is is so special. The town, um, you can go out walking down the street and you'll see fans and they will talk to you. Mm. Um, and yeah, no, I've I've feel like I've grown as a player and a person being here the last four years. So um, yeah, no, I'm not sure yet. But do you feel that that kind of metaphorical black cloud has shifted now? I mean, can you go out and play? you know, tension free football should we say for the next two games? Um you can yeah, you can do. Um I it's gonna be hard because I'm still so angry and annoyed that we have been relegated and it will be hard um to really sort of process that. Um so I don't think we can go out and be completely oblivious to what what is going on and what is still going on. Um but we have to we we deserve we have to give the fans um, a good show each on Saturday and next week um, and really leave everything out there because some players this might be their last couple of games at the club um, mm. and a place like this you want to be remembered um, for giving everything you can um, even though we're relegated the fans um, they will still show up um, and Saturday tomorrow sorry there will be a lot of fans there and we have to we have to give back to them I mean, you know, when you look at the fans and talking about the fans, the numbers that went up to Gateshead and the numbers that went up to Wrexham, especially considering the situation we're in, is unbelievable, really, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's support. In, yeah, it's incredible. Um, I think that's the the hardest hardest thing is we've been supported all all season really well, and like you said, the games at Gateshead, and they all turned up. Um, it's just it is sad because we haven't given them enough to support us and. After Wrexham, you see fans in tears, um, and it really means a lot to them. Mm -hmm. And it's 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 hard to to see what is going on at the moment. Um, like I said, hopefully it gets sorted.